Oh, I'm looking for the thing. <laughs> Michelle, how excited are you about ideation, youth nation? Very, very, very excited. Mm -mm. So what is it? What is it? So it is something for our young people of New Zealand, but will totally be open for anyone in the world. <laughs> They did it's speed saving. Let, let's tell them what it is. It is complete and utter emotional, mental, spiritual, business, whole life support for the freaks and the weirdos and the different people in the world who are actually here to make a difference in the world. They're basically yeah. baby asses, right, Jackie? Yeah. And they and they're what schools haven't celebrated. So they're the people that the school have not celebrated. So they're our creatives. They're our um, quirkies, they're our differently abled, um, they're so cool in my world, in my world I love them, um, and we want to celebrate them, we want to celebrate them, and we want to, we want to teach them that they've got a purpose and that there's um, a place for them in the world, and that <clears throat> this defining moments that they've had, these kind of curveballs, these roller coasters, these lack of pom-poms um that they've got a story to tell yeah and that the labels like when somebody told them that they were broken that it's just not true the thing <clears throat> that people told them that they were broken or that they were weird or tried to make them conform well it's the the exact opposite is true like when you actually own that that freak and that weirdness and be all of who you are that is actually when you succeed so we mm. want to we want to curtail all of the crap that happened to us and all of the crap that's happening to them and we want to stop them from being squashed before they get squashed. Yeah. And I mean, everyone has got to agree that our world is desperately <laughs> needing this right now and, and our youth of our nation are who are going to what is what's going to save this world right now. Don't you agree? Completely, completely. Uh, but they really, they fiercely need to be empowered and they need to um, be advocated for. They need to desperately need to um, understand healthy boundaries and and how to, how to stand up and speak for themselves. Um, I mean, even our youth, they're just actually, regardless, <laughs> you know, even if you're vanilla flavoured, um, are really challenged with that. So rather than wait for the mat trap moment, which is kind of what we both had to go through, let's do it now. Let's like get them now. <laughs> hey, let's yeah. rip up the youth of our nation. Let's support them. Let's put them in a nest where they can look around and go, oh, there is no normal. I'm yeah. cool. Yeah, totally. Let's mask off now. Let's go total un New Zealand. Let's go total un Kiwi. Yeah. And let's go, let's like cut down tall poppy. Let's take the mask off. So let's show, let's show them how, like, let's actually show the freaking world yeah. that, yeah. It's, it's even screw New Zealand. Let's show the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and it's true, right? Like in New Zealand, there is a lot of tall poppy. There is. I mean, like I've lived in several other, other locations around the world and tall poppy is absolutely shocking in New Zealand. And it really squashes young people from growing because they try and be a little bit different or they try and do something out of the box. And people like my daughter even, right? Like opening up her business and her friends or people who are, who are acquaintances like, oh, you just think you're this big thing doing all this big business thing. And she's like, oh, they're saying this mum. And I'm like, who cares? Yeah, really. <laughs> Yeah, I know. God, it's it's nuts. Um, and also, like, you think about the school system, it's so antiquated, you know, like, the teacher, the front, you're right or wrong. And like you say, you're, you're either something's wrong with you or something's broken with you or something needs repairing or we need to, we need to fix that. And I want... I desperately want humanity to understand that we are, we are whole all the time. We might not show up with our best behaviour, <laughs> um, but that's okay because, again, that can be a defining moment that, that we learn from and that, then we can share that sacred story with someone else and we save a life. So, yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but also, also, do you think, do you agree with me? that um i mean because we totally need we can't do it alone we need support this is a charity and don't you agree that it's kind of like a a healing for me and you like through what we actually had to kind of 
our defining moment. So this is an opportunity for us to go, let's make good of our roller coasters, of our curveballs. Completely. It is going to be completely such a healing journey for us. Yeah. Help, yeah. Helping to heal these other young people is going to be complete and utter healing journey for us. I agree. Yeah. And that's, I think that's what, that's like build an army, like of other people like us that, that, that <laughs> agree with that. We're yeah. going to put them all on the boat and row them all to Hope Island. All of them. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. And the youth that we're going to work with, Jackie, like that, they're just not made for normal society. Like they go out there and go into jobs and they get squashed down and they just can't cope with it, right? So why even put them in there? Why not let them build their own businesses? Why not let them build up extreme wealth and extreme confidence now? Like why do they have to be squashed before they can go back up? But I mean, we've got to face the facts that there is no that we're not going back to normal. Yeah. Like this the world shaking us up. Yeah. So let's bring our earth shakers out. Let's yes. bring our, you know, let's bring our light workers, our earth shakers, our joy seekers, our truth tellers. Let's bring them out now. Oh my God. That just gave me all the soul to <laughs> I'm just enjoying them, Jackie. I'm just like, mm. oh <laughs> I mean, that's why they've come. This is they're the they're this generation. They've come in and they're like, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want a nine to five job. I don't need to do that. That was designed in World War frickin' one. Yeah. And that was when we worked 40 hours a week and we went home and someone was caught, had cooked our meal and done our housework. So now we're all working 40, 50, 60 hours a week. Yeah. And then we're still having to do all that. And we're like, we're burning out and we're, we're actually causing dis-ease. So I'm like... Screw that. <laughs> Let's get this generation. Well, you just like, need to look at what's going on, Jackie. Like, I mean, you and I both have teenagers, right? Like the, yeah. the anxiety, the anorexia, the self-harm, that the everything that I've watched my goddamn kid go through, she just didn't need to, you know? Like the, the pressures on them are just so different. It's just, I can't even explain it because I'm not a teenager experiencing it. I'm only an, a mum witnessing it. But what I know is that it can't fucking carry on. Like it just can't. Like we, we just can't. Yeah, and, and that's, that. I mean, we're both the same. I wholeheartedly believe we don't have a mental health, a youth mental health crisis. We've got a disconnection, disempowerment, yeah. um, lack of understanding crisis. And, and, and I just disenfranchised. Like, you know, you that they're looking at the world and they're like, what's the point? Oh, and, and that's what I'm, oh my gosh, 100%. And that's what I want. I just want our young people to see that adulting can be fun and play and I also want them to desperately want them to see that we can be vulnerable and, and brave and we can ask for help as well. So, um, and that's, uh, like you say, I've got teenagers and I, and I do that all the time. I'm, I'm, they're like, mum, what's that? And I'm like, I'm just feeling, I'm feeling and I'm going to, I need help. I need some help. And it might be from you. <laughs> yeah. They're my biggest teachers, big time. So, yeah. And on that note, we want all of your help. <laughs> we yeah. want you to come and celebrate with us. On Thursday, we're doing a pop and frock. It can be real pop or fake pop, doesn't matter. <laughs> and you can wear a dress or come in the nude. We don't care about that either. <laughs> but we would just like you to come. Like, it's been a lot of hard work for Jackie to set up the charity while I just sat there and relaxed. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> um, <true. laughs> but we'd just like you to celebrate with us like for us this, this is a big moment like we're getting to do we're getting to make a difference in the world that's really going to heal our hearts and it's going to heal the world and we're just we're just so grateful and we both realize that if we don't stop and celebrate the universe is like you know oh you don't really think that's that great so we do want to stop and we want to give thanks and we want to celebrate with you guys and I'm, I'm desperate for some connection, please. <laughs> <laughs> this extrovert in lockdown is a big challenge. So I'm totally down with virtual connection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So come along in a lovely frock, bring a cup of tea or a glass of bubbles or fake bubbles or whatever you want to do. 7.30 Thursday night. Um, Jackie, you're going to put the link in the post, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's all there. Okay, and um, I mean, we're not going to be talking about the charity all night. We're just like, it's just literally like a like a little, you know, chat. Soiree. Soiree, exactly. Jackie <laughs> might do an interpretive dance for us. 
Um, but there's nothing else on the agenda. <laughs> I'm totally down with it. Okay, good. <laughs> Leading with an interpretive dance of what the charity means to Jackie. Yeah. I'm actually down with one day, and not, maybe not this one, but next celebration, like wear your wedding dress or a bridesmaid's dress party. I threw it away when I turned 40 because I still fitted it and I was like, it can't get any better from here on out. So I got rid of it and now I think I'm skinnier than when I was 40 and I'm like, damn, I should have kept it. Yeah, I've still got mine. Anyway, <laughs> that's another party. And then I've got other party ideas too, but okay. I'll tell you when I've had some pop. <laughs> <laughs> fabulous all right we can't wait to see you on thursday please do come like we'd love to get to know you all better like like this is just our favorite group to hang out in in soi like it's you know you're, you're our people please can you come celebrate with us we'd really love that beautiful see you there yeah